Canada Arbor is, um, is uh, a medium-sized um, publishing house. It's one of the few left independent publishing houses in the German-speaking territory. Um, we have 12 people working for the house and um, it's based in Zurich. You see the building here. Other than my colleague who is also in Zurich, we have two floors. <laughs> it's, uh, but it doesn't really count, it's very small. And um, yeah, 12 people working there, we publish around 40 uh, titles each year. Um, we have um, mainly literary fiction, um, which is, um, we have up and coming Uh, young authors, we have also classic gems, we have um, literary comebacks as well. So um, authors like Truman Capote or Elif Shafak, Ann Tyler, David Nichols, they join all, all our literary fiction list. Um, we have also a, a selected list of non-fiction titles, uh, mainly narrative non-fiction, but also what we call a creative um, a creative gift book. I will come to that uh, later, like in one minute. <laughs> I will show you one book. Um, and we publish audio books as well. Um, the two titles I want to, to present you are both very Ken and Arbor like. Both are, I think, when I'm being asked what Ken and Arbor books are like, I think I always thinking about great stories uh, that are told in a, in a unique and in a passionate way. And we try to give them beautiful design and then publish it. And this is um, a good example for it because Ayelet Gunda Goshen, she's an Israeli author, very young, and uh, it's her debut novel, which has been published last year in Germany. And it's, um, um, she's a great storyteller. She's very Uh, she's got her own voice, and this is what attracts our interest. And this book is um, about a, a very mediocre man, very normal looking, and uh, he's involved in this fake marriage um, with a woman that happens to be the most beautiful and most astonishing woman he's ever seen in his life. Uh, but it's a fake marriage, and uh, they agreed to divorce after a few months, um, but... Uh, Since she's so beautiful and he thinks, I will never find a woman like this again in my life, I'm not going to divorce her. And instead I try to win her heart. And it's a very funny but also very tragic story. Um, her second book is uh, forthcoming in uh, 10 days, actually. Yeah, it's called Waking Lines, also very impressive. Um, the second book I wanted to show you is one of the uh, creative gift books, what we call um, by two young uh, authors. One is uh, Finnish, half Finnish, half German. The other one is Swiss, Mikhail Krogerus and uh, Roman Cepela. The book is called The Test Book. And uh, it, it's featuring 60 tests you can fill out and you can make your cross at the checkboxes and you get results. Um, they tell you who you are and uh, how good you are. Um, it's featuring, for example, the IQ test or the Rorschach test, um, the um, how fast can I read test, the do I drink too much test. And um, it's also featuring, it's been translated into, into many languages, um, also into Dutch. I think it's Podium who, who publishes it. Um, and they uh, have this test. I don't know if you can read it. Um, can I needle in the warden? Uh, can I become a Dutch citizen? I don't know if this is a relevant question for, for you guys in Flanders. <laughs> I heard it's a complex uh, issue, but um, I was quite eager to find out, but it, my result was unfortunately devastating. Can I not really read it? I, my result was 0 to 3 points. I'm as Dutch as a successful World Cup final. <laughs> um, so, but I have good hopes that after this week um, I will be very Dutch and uh, or very Flemish as well and uh, know more and a lot of things about your literature. Thank you very much. <laughs>